So it looks like this GoPro has been lost potentially since 2014. That's four years underwater, man. That's crazy. And the fact that it actually still works is unreal. Hey, what's up, guys? Jake or D Almighty here. Today, I'm with my buddy Jack from the Juice Squad. Today, we are going to be reviewing footage from a GoPro Jack found while diving for treasure yesterday. <laughs> Oh man, this thing's been in here for a while. Today what we're going to do is actually take the SD card out and we're going to actually try to figure out who this belongs to so we can give it back to the owner. I'm super excited to do this because there's no telling what's on this man. Every time we find a GoPro or some other camera in the river, it's just so cool to see what it recorded and I hope it has the golden clip where the person lost it. The main reason we want to share this with you guys here on YouTube is so we can all team up to see who this belongs to so we can give it back to them. But, you know, really we're doing this because there could be memories on here that this person never saved on their computer. And to be able to give that back to him is really special, and that's what it's all about, man. I've lost GoPros with footage that I wish I could get back, <laughs> and I never did. So if we could do that for somebody, that would be awesome. That'd be great. I got my dog Treasure with me today, hanging out with me in the office. But Jack and I was talking about it, and we both thought, oh my gosh, she licked me. We both thought it would be best to upload our videos separately, so we're going to have our own reactions. If you guys want to see Jack's video and his perspective, make sure you guys check that out. I'm going to definitely put a link in the description for that. I rarely show you guys my office. I'm always outside having a good time in like the river or lakes, you know, looking for treasure. But if you guys want to see a full office tour, drop a thumbs up and maybe we will do that in the future. I got some cool stuff like fan mail to share with you guys. But yeah, this is my office, man. I just moved into this apartment. I'm still working at organizing everything, but I got some cool stuff hung up on the wall and it's starting to feel like me. I'm super excited to see what's on this lost camera. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know real quick that this video is brought to you guys by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make it happen with Squarespace. But I'm actually really excited to tell you guys about the website I made and it's called findmylostvaluables.com. For the longest time, I had this idea in my head where I I wanted to have a website where anyone around the whole world could come to me if they lost something. So if you lost an iPhone, a GoPro, a wallet, or anything like that, you can come to me, tell me how you lost it, where you lost it, when you lost it, and I could potentially come out to you and find it for you guys for free. I'm like the ultimate search and rescue for some people, man. If you drop your iPhone in a pond or something, I'll come and get it, man. doesn't matter where you're at. <laughs> I'll be like flying to Australia to help people out. But who knows, man, maybe with a website I made from squarespace.com, I'm going to be able to start traveling the whole world in search of people's lost valuables so I can help reunite them with their items that they lost. But I'm excited, man, and I thought this would be a perfect way to introduce the website that I made and talk to you guys a little bit about Squarespace. With help from Squarespace, I was able to make my concept come to life and if you guys want to check it out I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can potentially make your own website but I think they're awesome man so definitely check it out it's really simple and easy to do all right so let's go ahead and start looking at some of this lost camera footage man so we're gonna open it up here so it looks like this GoPro has been lost potentially since 2014 that's four years underwater man that's crazy and the fact that it actually still works is unreal I give it to GoPro man they have some really strong cases but we're gonna start off at the very top right here and we'll make our way down to the very last video what's really cool about this spot is the fact that like the water here is crystal clear and thousands of people go to the spot every single year, so they just drop all kinds of crazy stuff. Everyone hangs out, tubes and kayaks, just has a good time. All right, so there was a guy right there. We saw the first peak of his face. Can't really make it out, but does he look familiar? <laughs> so we just started a second video here, and we have another view of the person who lost it. And we actually have a view of the GoPro here in the top left corner. If you guys didn't see the video where we found the GoPro, it's actually connected to a suction cup. And if you look closely right here in our sunglasses, it looks like he's trying to stick it to his kayak. And I can tell you right now, it didn't work out nicely for him at the end. Wait. Is that a jello shot? <laughs> I think this is a jello shot. Like I said, a lot of people come here to raft and tube, and most of the time they're drinking or smoking weed going down this river, but looks like this lady has a jello shot on her leg, ready to go. <laughs> but we have a clear shot of this woman. If anyone recognizes her, let me know in the comment section, please. Oh, there she goes. She's taking a jello shot. <laughs> she just finished the whole jello shot. Heck yeah. <laughs> Look at her go. She's so proud. <laughs> the cool thing about Jenny Springs is that you start in the clear water. And then you start making your way out to the river. And the river is this like tannic red color and it's just super dark and, and just scary, man. If you guys have seen my videos, you know how scary it is, man. I freak out. That's the cool thing about this spot. If anyone's dropped anything, no one's really gonna go out and try to find it just because it's really scary and dark and creepy, man. So they're just making their way down the river right now. And uh, looks like they're just having a good time, chilling. Looks like maybe they're trying to meet up with a few other friends. Nothing crazy is happening. They're just making their way down the river, enjoying the day. But uh, you guys definitely have to come and check out this spot one day if you guys are close by. It's called Jenny Springs in Florida. Oh, bumper boats. See, if you guys ever have a camera, never, never, never have it as a suction cup, man. Like one bump like that could just tip over your GoPro and uh, it's just not worth it, man. Or at least have like a lanyard tied to your camera. So if you do suction cup it to your kayak, you have it tied on just in case. I actually saw a guy climb up this tree and jump off the very top and I'm pretty sure he was a little drunk. So. 
Uh, he didn't die, but um, I think he hurt his back a little bit. <laughs> Looks like the lady's taking photos of him. Got a selfie here. I'm pretty sure I'll find that phone later on. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> that girl just chilling, getting a tan. I'm gonna be honest, this person is so bad at paddling a kayak, man. This person is bumping into everyone. All right, so that's it for the first two clips. We're gonna go ahead and click the third clip. There's not too much going on right now. It looks like this person may have just like hit record and went up river and just recorded everything. But it's still pretty cool to go through it all and uh, seeing everyone going down, having a good time. Look at that raft, dude. That thing has a thing for shade. That's so cool. I'm not too sure what they're doing right now. They're kind of like hanging by the shore. Looks like they're holding on. I think I figured out why they're hanging out on the side right over here. This is out of the main river section and it's kind of tucked away. And I just saw this guy smoking. And it could either be one of two things. It's either marijuana or he's vaping. But every time I've been there, I've seen so many people smoke weed. So that's probably what they're doing over here. But that could be a vape too though. But that's kind of funny. They're over here hiding in the woods, potentially smoking weed. <laughs> so it looks like we have two more clips to go. And I hope they recorded the moment they lost the camera, man. I think that's going to be so cool if they did. Maybe we'll see like fish and other cool stuff on their water. But it does look like they have it on record the entire time. So it looks like the chances are high that they recorded their uh, GoPro being lost. Someone got into a fight. Honking at each other, got into a damn fight. <laughs> beating each other up. <laughs> Talking about someone beating someone up. Oh, no way! That's when they lost it. I can't believe it. They were actually recording when they lost it. See, that's what the water looks like in the river. It's just super red and dark color. Oh, dang. That would have been crazy if you can hear him like screaming like, No, my GoPro! <laughs> Looks like the river's pushing the camera down a river some. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit to see if the camera uh, moved in the current at all. See if it recorded anything cool. Alright, didn't record anything cool in that, but we do have one more clip. It must have recorded till the battery died. But let's go ahead and see if it moved here too. That'd be crazy if we just saw a giant fish swim by the screen. It is pitch black. Yeah, it looks like that camera just stayed in the same spot when it fell off the kayak, but um, let's go ahead and watch that one more time real quick. So this guy is having a good time, smiling, enjoying his day, but he doesn't realize his day's about to be ruined. <laughs> As I rewatch this, it doesn't look like anything hit the, uh, the camera itself. It looks like maybe the suction cup just failed. <laughs> My dog. What was that, Cheshire? But those are all the files on the SD card. If any of these people look familiar to you guys, make sure you guys let me know in the comment section below or shoot me an email. And I'm going to try to go through all the comments, see if anyone really noticed these people. Like I said, I'm hoping by uploading this video on YouTube, we can all team up and figure out who this camera belongs to so we can all give it back to the original owner. Before I let you guys go, I also want to thank you guys for 4 million subscribers. I appreciate it so much. You guys have changed my life and I'm, I'm so thrilled to be able to do what I love to do every single day. Like this is stuff that I would do if I had a normal typical job, man. Like I would do my job and, and when I had free time, I'd go down to the river and you know, whether I'm picking it up or finding cool stuff, it's like what I would love to do. And to be honest with you guys, like I feel like I'm the luckiest man to be able to do this as my full-time career. Like who can say their career is like treasure hunting? <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys so much. You guys have changed my life. <laughs> She's giant. She's over a hundred pounds and uh, she is just a love bug, man. She does, she looks like a killer, but she's not. <laughs>